Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nova tutorial. My name is Boomer, I am your host, and today we're gonna to get into all the Nova storage. I gotta tell you, I'm really impressed. There's a lot of creativity and ideas that went into this, compacting, getting everything in one place and making this pretty easy. Let's dive right in. First thing we're gonna look at is a Nova storage unit. We've got an item set up here with about 3,200 stone, and we're going to move that stone to two different chests but we're gonna bring it here first and we're gonna walk you through how that's gonna happen. So we have five different cables that transfer items from one unit to another and cables are what determines the speed. A basic cable moves eight items per second, advanced is 16, elite 32, ultimate 64, and creative, well, you can imagine. There's a reason why they call it Boomer. Anyways, it moves at an insane rate. So inside of the configuration here, we've got a, a, just a ton of options we can either configure this for items or if this were a liquid storage tank we could do that as well we have an extract option we have an insert option you can do one or the other or both at the same time for our purposes we're simply going to do an extraction option you also have a priority option 100 is the highest priority zero is the lowest priority so for the for our purposes today since this is the only one extracting we're just leaving this on by default you also have item uh, filter spots where we can go in and say, okay, I can add up to seven different items to either whitelist or blacklist. I can also choose to ignore or not ignore NBT data, which for some add-ons could very well be very helpful if you're moving items that are very specific and you want to make sure they go to the right spot. Hate to find my diamond sword in the middle of the trash pile. Eh? All right. So we're going to use the cables. Now you do have to use the same cable all the way through from one starting point to another. That doesn't mean your entire base has to be the same cable. It simply means that in our little setup here to go from this machine to that chest to that chest, I need to use the same cable all the way through and I'm setting up to use advanced cables. Now let's take a look at this setup real quick. We set this priority 40. So we've given this chest a little bit lower priority. We set this chest to 75, giving this one a higher priority. By the way, we also have four different channels in case I didn't mention it. So I can have four different channels coming out of this system as well, going in any number of locations. All right, let's connect the system. Let's turn it on, right? Whoop. There we go. So as you'll now see, we have items are moving out of our unit at 16 per second. Nothing should be here. Everything should be here. So let's confirm that nothing is indeed in here. And that is exactly what we should see. We should see everything in here and we currently do. So while that's filling up, let's talk about the trash can. For those of you who follow me from Slime Fun, first of all, thank you guys so much for jumping over to Nova and Craftery and help supporting them. I love these plugins. I think they're great. They give you the feel of modded without actually having to go through that whole system. Trash can set up is the exact same way. Now, we'll get that filter out of there. I've set this to 100 priority, which means if I connect this, every bit of stone coming out of that storage unit now comes in here. So, for example, if you had a way to set up slime fun dust being sorted through here and you want to go through your main chest first and then trash off the rest once it's full, set this to the lowest priority because once that chest is full, then everything else will come down to the trash can. And if the chest does open up for a spot, that one coming in will go here first before it goes to the trash can or the other chest. So it allows you to truly prioritize where your items go. So once that chest is filled, again, look at that. Nothing's going in or exactly the way it should be. Once that fills up, it'll go there. Let's keep moving on. Oh, by the way, let's hold off. I do want to show you something. I wanted to test to see just how far these cables could go. So I've had a cobblestone generator running for a few hours. And I have brought this cable out 100 blocks just to give it a good idea to see, will it work this far out? And the answer is yes. It appears that if the trunks are loaded, the cables will bring the item. We're 100 blocks away and the items are still coming in. So as long as the trunk is loaded, the items will make their way down here. Also on the storage unit, I've been running about 13 different cobble generators powered by solar this entire time. I wanted to see if there was an upper limit to the storage. In the configuration file for the uh, storage unit and for the cobblestone generators, I couldn't find a limit. Uh, the config file for the server did not seem to have a, a limit. 
So when I look in the storage unit, well, technically there is a limit. It's the same limit Slime Fun has. It's 2 to the 32nd power plus 1. So 2.147 billion. Hey, Slime Fun guys, you should know that from the power regulator. When it trips over to zero, that's where it trips. Now, that is configurable, however, though, with inside of the storage unit's JSON file. So you can go in there, change max items to whatever number you want. Me, personally, I'd recommend leaving it alone at 2.147 billion. That's boomer size. That's, that's pretty good. All right, let's keep going. I love this little thing. This thing is awesome. All right, the vacuum chest. This has a ton of purposes. Now, there's a number of things that are in here. You can also item filter it. You can choose to hide or display visually where it is. You can configure uh, the items to go out right or front, left, top, bottom, however you want it to go. Additionally, there are upgrades available for it in terms of ranges, meaning for every range, the space that this can suck items in increases. By default, you have two, three by three by two, or five by five by three. As you add the upgrades, you can click one more. So now you'll see we are now seven by seven by four. If we keep going all the way out to the top range, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 12, 15, 17 by 17 by, it looks like seven or eight. Let's see, six, seven. So 17 by 17 by nine. So think what you could do in here if you had a massive cobble generator that a wither was blowing up or you're using for concrete factories where TNT blows it, it drops into a water source. Instead of the water source, place one of these things down with a range upgrade and anything that falls within this range gets instantly sucked up into the vacuum. And it can all be pulled out by using our cables. It can hold nine different types of items. So if you're making 10, eh, one of them is not going to make it. But if you are using the cables to pull it out, that really shouldn't matter. The only thing you might want to think of is do you want to blacklist certain items? Really neat feature. All right, let's move on to the last thing we're going to talk about is water storage. So the infinite water source apparently can be found somewhere in the world. And I forget exactly uh, where it is, but it is available somewhere within the world. So it's exactly what it says. It's an infinite water source. I mean, creative, aren't I? So all I got to do is take a bucket and right click on the water and I have it. And again, you've got infinity. All the other tanks work the same way as well. If you simply right click on them while holding an empty bucket, it'll fill them up. Now I've started here with the basic fluid tank, which starts at the equivalent of 10 buckets of water for every thousand MB. And I forget what MB stands for. Um, I'm not going to guess because I'm probably going to sound silly and I'll get it wrong. So we'll just say it holds 10 buckets, all right? And they do increase with size as they go up. So if we go into the storage, we look at the tanks, we've got the basic, we have an advanced, right? And then we have uh, the elite and then the ultimate. And then of course, there's the boomer one that you would use while you're in creative. You're not something you can craft. You can only craft these first four. And then we also have something called the fluid storage unit. Now I've been pumping this thing full of water for a long time. This thing currently holds the equivalent of 1,160 buckets of water. Same thing, if I want some water, I just click on it. Real simple. Or if I want to deposit water, do the same thing. I can put it right back in. Now at some point I could break this, but you know, it's really cool looking and seeing just how much water could I unleash on my world. Hmm, really awesome. So guys, uh, thank you again so much for your support of Craftery, of Nova. We're going to be getting to Craftery here in a little bit. NCS is hopefully, I'm going to have the next episode out here within the next day or two. I've been resource gathering like crazy, working hard to get some basic slime fun set up. Uh, but again, thank you for supporting both of these amazing plugins in addition to slime fun and for supporting the server as, or not the server, sorry, my Discord and the channel. We're about to hit, we're really, really close to 250,000 views since the launch of the channel. And I'm blown away. I cannot believe that. It's just incredible. So thank you all. Don't forget, guys, man, you got to go Boomer because this is Nova. We'll see you later.